what's really important for Christians to understand is that the way that they have been taught to see themselves and the way that other people see them as hateful and closed-minded and dogmatic and all of those kind of negative things, as well as having some really complicated, hard-to-believe set of understandings of reality and God and everything, we need to understand that that's kind of how human beings are. And it's just that in this current age and cultural setting, our dogmas are not the culture's dogmas. That doesn't mean that the culture doesn't have dogmas, that the culture doesn't have taboos, that the culture doesn't have like really stupid assumptions and presuppositions. It does, it's, they're just not ours. So it's fascinating, I think, to look at what happens when someone with all of those dogmas from a totally different worldview comes into the text of scripture and wants to be a Christian, and then it, you know, tries to fit that worldview into scripture, which has a completely different one. I think it's really important for Christians just to understand that anytime somebody is telling you, well, that's just your opinion, or why are you forcing your religion on me or whatever, you have to understand they have a religion, they have taboos, they have dogmas too, they're just different from yours. And they need to understand, the person that you're talking to needs to understand that too, that they are just as religious and dogmatic as you are as, as a confessional Christian. Yeah, but, but they're part of their dogma is to not believe that they're religious or dogmatic. And, and that's kind of the, the trick correct. in that, yeah. Um, but, but so sort of what you're getting at, though, is the, the individuals who want to have it both ways as well, that they want to straddle that I have this modern set of assumptions about which I am emotionally invested, and anybody who thinks otherwise is is crazy. But I also want to kind of like Jesus and, and say Jesus is cool. And so Jesus has this Bible thing, so now I need to take these two and, and shove them together. And I think if I'm getting you right where you want to go this evening is to talk about how dangerous it is for us to cede that battlefield to them, and that when they do that, they're stepping onto our turf, and we want to be prepared to then say, this is our turf, and look, here's what the grass looks like. It really is on this issue. So hold your assumptions over there if you have to, but don't pretend that's what the Bible says. 